We begin this morning with a new face, or should I say the new abs of Calvin Klein. The Bear Star, Jer Jeremy Allen White, just made his debut for the iconic brand and set the internet seriously on fire in the process. Have you seen these pictures? White, well, come on, Michael, it's awesome. White posing in signature boxer briefs for Calvin <laughs> Klein's Spring 24 global campaign set on a rooftop with his hometown of New York City as the backdrop. Now, from the moment this ad and those images dropped, they took over every social media feed with responses, and I love this, yes, chef, <laughs> and many describing the campaign as a chef's kiss. Nothing the, like climbing a ladder in your underwear. <laughs> As one does, Michael. It's the rooftops of New York. How do you? How else do you get on the ladder? Um, the actor telling GQ that in order to prepare, he ran, he jumped rope, he did calisthenics, he ate plenty of fresh fish. Uh, White adding that he was already actually prepared for the shoot because of his recent role playing wrestler Kerry Von Erich in his latest movie, The Iron Claw. Now, White saying, quote, I was used to running around in front of large groups of people in my underwear because of the iron claw. So maybe there was some kind of mental and emotional prep for that job. Okay, I'll buy that. And just to mentally prepare you and the internet, Calvin Klein says there's even more photos dropping soon. But you know, but I hear that he was the second choice for the campaign. What do you mean? I heard he was the second choice for the model for that campaign. Oh, oh get <laughs> out of here, Michael. I, I'm just saying, no, these, that, are, these are the original <laughs> test shots. That you did these test shots, and then I, I heard you were too busy, so you couldn't do it, so they put him in. I am happy to put my hand on those abs and just kind of like work, work that picture like that any day. Thank you, Michael. That, that just makes my day. You'll see that featured on my Instagram post for real later on. Um, now, <laughs> some music news and the decades-old hit that's gone viral thanks to its appearance in Emerald Fennell's newest film, Saltburn. Now, the song is Murder on the Dance Floor by Sophie Ellis Bexter. Do you remember this one? Let me refresh your memory. It's on the dance floor. Yeah, you do. But you better not kill the girl. It's murder on the dance floor. Yeah, I remember it. This, this, this is 2001. It was kind of my most killing dance floor moments were coming out at this point. It happened about 22 years ago, but never charted in the U.S. Now it's getting a renaissance thanks to the movie that has become one of the most talked about of the holiday season. The song has reached its most single day streams ever on Spotify, racking up 1.5 million on New Year's Eve. That's up 340% since the same day in 2022. Now to celebrate, the singer even posted a tribute to Saltburn on TikTok, writing that this is how she planned on heading into 2024. Me too. In the horns. <laughs> and that's it. Yes. And that's it. It's murder on the dance floor. George, do you remember the song? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now to the golden wedding. The first ever golden bachelor, Gary Turner, tying the knot to Teresa Nist in a live wedding special after their whirlwind second chance romance captivated the country, folks. Remember, take a look. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> America's golden couple is official. Let's hear it for Mrs. Turner. Gary and Teresa Turner tying the golden knot. The wedding party was a family affair. Teresa's youngest grandson, Henry, serving as ring bearer before her son, Tommy, walked his mom down the aisle. Their daughters each sharing a special toast. Everybody here calls you the first golden bachelor. We're just honored to call you dad. Gary, take good care of my best friend since birth. The wedding gown, an absolute showstopper. The bride enlisting the help of her girl squad. All of us went. <gasps> and of course, golden bachelor favorite Susan Knowles officiating. When I stepped out of the limo screaming, Gary, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> Turns out I was right. <laughs> After 30,000 applicants, we have our moment. But the duo saw sparks night one as Teresa stepped out of the limo on her 70th birthday. By their first one-on-one, -on -one, the two quickly knew to don't stop believing. That hope is huge. That's what you need to wake up each morning. You need hope. You don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. And that hope echoed during their handwritten vows. I promise to be your calm in a storm, but most of all, to have fun. 
for the rest of the days that we have left on this earth. It wasn't my ear that you whispered in when you said the I love you's, but my very soul. A night showing all of us there is no age limit to love. Wow, there was something really touching about that. Gary and Teresa aren't the only people out there looking for love. We all know people who are. They're goal in their golden years. Dating expert Bella Gandhi joins us now with her best pieces of advice how everyone can follow this in the new years. It's so nice to see you. Welcome back. So great back. to be here. Thank you. All right. So um, I think if, if you said Gary was doing something right, like he was putting things in a dating funnel, what does that even mean? A dating funnel for anybody that's getting out there in the dating world, you want to date multiple people at the same time to give yourself options so that you don't put blinders on and settle into the wrong person too quickly. Now, you might be thinking, how do I create a dating funnel? Three key ways. Okay. Use the dating apps, then go out in the wild and actually meet people in real life. In the wild. In the wild. <laughs> and then have a dating board of directors. Put your friends, your family, your colleagues on that. it to set you up yep. on dates in 2024. I used yep. to That's call your fun roster. Oh, the, the, the roster. Bench. The, the roster. roster. <laughs> Back in the day. You know, a lot of stuff comes out on this show when you're not expecting it. The roster. Okay. Well, you know, Gary Teresa, they, they move pretty quickly. I mean, it was like, okay, the wedding's here, and they just, you know, the show just, the show just wrapped. So how should people navigate the timeline? The should your timelines possibly change with age? No, the timeline's for everybody. I coach people that are 25 to 75 years old in the dating world. Everybody needs to slow things down. Mm. We have a 15-date rule. No getting exclusive until you've been on 15 dates wow. over wow. three months. Wow. Right? We've had zero divorces. But if you think about it, people talk about a three-date rule. right? If you think about three dates, two hours a date, that's six hours in total. That is not even Monday at work. Okay, wow. that is two fast, so slow things down at every age. My wife and I are the exception then. We met in April, got engaged in June. I in love, November. love that. Yeah. That's exclusivity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes and it works. when you know, you know. You, know, you, know, right? you, know. you don't need a roster, George. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bella. And we'll have even more from Bella ahead of the world's busiest online dating day. That's happening this weekend when she comes back Saturday morning right here on GMA. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.